YouTube. It's your guy, not your average trucker, back at it. Um, I had something that was on my mind, man. You know, you know, you gotta live under a rock or be completely blind or whatever to not, you know, shit. Even if you open up YouTube, turn on your TV, turn on the radio, all you hear everybody talking about currently is this, uh, you know, this coronavirus and all that. And it just brought up something in me that it's just, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. You get to a point in life where, you know, naturally you, you're, you know, you're happy for the things that you have. You appreciate the things that you have, you know. I appreciate that I could take care of my, you know, wife, kids, family, all that. But the more and more I think about it, man, there's some people out here clearly that earn way less than me but they have jobs that are way more important than mine you understand and you know especially when you're thinking about all these uh you know first responders ambulance drivers medics nurses doctors nurses aides you know what i mean all these people that are out here pretty much risking their life and their health to help these people that are, you know, dealing with this virus, you know what I mean? And it's like, I used to argue with people all the time, you know, it'll probably ruffle the people's feathers, but when I was, you know, not even when I was younger, it's just all the time, especially every time I turn on the news and I see some, you know, unarmed person get shot by the cops and all this, it's just like, I always wondered why certain professions, especially in the, uh, I mean, I don't really know how to say it without coming off as an asshole, but I just feel like there's certain professions that should obviously get paid more than others. You understand? Like, to me, I think one of the most important professions out here, obviously, other than being a doctor, being a nurse, because you directly, you know, saving lives, I always thought teachers should get paid more. You understand? As corny as that sound, you know, I know everybody hates school and all that, but if I had to, you know, we had a, a situation here in North Carolina where, specifically Charlotte, where they were laying off a lot of teachers for hiring and giving raises to law enforcement, right? And that just rubs me the wrong way, you understand? Because I think a teacher has more of a positive impact on someone's life than a cop, you understand? There's absolutely no crime that a patrol officer is preventing, you understand? People that's in the street, they know when the cops is coming, they know where the cops be at, they know what cops to look for, and they still breaking in houses, they still selling drugs, they still stealing cars, patrol officer not preventing that at all whereas if you want to save more lives you want to prevent more crime you want to lower your statistics i personally think you should pay teachers more you understand because a fifth grade teacher you know just throwing a, a, a you know a grade out there but a fifth grade teacher has more of an impact on a 10 year old's life than a cop will, you understand? So I could say, you know, I remember my fifth grade teacher, man, it was a dude named Mr. Sampson, right? Black dude, heavy set dude. And I was a young knucklehead, you understand? <laughs> and I remember him, he reminded me of Uncle Phil from the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. They kind of look similar, man. Just, you know, chubby black dude with the you know, ball spot up here, but hair on the side, you understand? But I remember him telling me all types of things that intrigued my mind, you understand? Um, you know, from, you know, obviously black history type stuff, because he was a black dude, to just all types of stuff. And I just feel like if teachers were paid more, you would get more teachers that were passionate, you understand? More teachers that care 
about their students as far as being able to mold and help send them in the right direction, you know, because you got a lot of households out here. You know, I grew up in the hood. My, my father wasn't in the crib. Um, and you got a lot of high households like that. You got a lot of households that are, you know, being brought up by a single parent, mother, father, whatever, single. And, you know, a lot of these kids don't always have the best influences around. Whereas, just like back in the day, if you had teachers that really gave a damn, teachers that was getting paid enough to make it worth their while, I just think the quality of education in the public school system, at least, would be a lot better. And you're more likely to have a teacher that can inspire a young person to want to do things other than gangbang or want to do things other than commit crime, sell drugs, you know, be a bad guy, you know, because sometimes we just need people to get a hold of some of these at-risk youth at an early age, you understand? You know, whereas a lot of people that are motivators, a lot of people that have that skill to teach, to motivate, to inspire, choose not to go into teaching because the money not there, you understand? You you get out of college, you got 60,000, $70,000 worth of student loans, you don't wanna become a teacher for a damn 25, 30 grand, because it'll take you a million years to pay your student loans off. So these people instead are jumping into other professions, you understand? Whereas they might have a burning desire to, 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 be, to teach, but the money's not there. Some of them will still go out on their own and you know, choose to be, you know, like the big brother, big sister program or choose to mentor young kids, but some don't. And it just bothers my, bothers my mind all the time how, you know, they knock it down a lot of schools, a lot of schools close down, they fire a lot of, lay off a lot of teachers, but they steady building jails, they're steady giving raises to police officers, and it's like, to me, young black male, something, you know, what was more necessary in my life would have been a teacher over a cop, you know? It's probably 20 cops for every one teacher, and these cops is getting paid two and three times more than these teachers, and it just don't make sense to me, man. And I know, you know, like I said, the video will rub people the wrong way. I honestly don't care, man. It's my channel. I'm post what I want to post, but... And that's another thing. I think nurses, you know, don't get paid enough. You understand? Your average nurse out here is dealing with the patient more than the doctor is. So there's more interaction between the nurse and the patient. Nurse is going in and out of that patient's room, you know, probably 20 times. It's probably, the ratio is probably 20 to one, the nurse to the doctor. You understand? Yeah, you know, my wife's a nurse and coincidentally, you know, she's not working right now because we got little kids at the crib, but I always thought, you know, in certain states, yeah, nurses get paid a lot, you know, but they don't get paid enough for the scope of the work that they do. I know some people view nurses as waitresses, basically. You understand? My wife gets mad all the time because, you know, she works, you know, neurosurgical ICU, so she's dealing with people that got major brain injuries and all that. Whereas the family members are in the ICU with the uh, the patient and they're constantly asking her for stuff like they think she's a freaking waitress, you know what I mean? They don't realize she has probably more education than they do, you know what I mean? But I say that to say, you know, nurses deserve to get paid more, you understand? Yeah, you got nurses out here, you know, $50, $60 an hour, and to some that's a lot of money, but... In a situation like this, where they're out here, they don't have all the you know protective equipment that they need, they don't have all the resources that they need, yet they take an oath to make sure that they help you get well by any means necessary. So they're potentially risking not only their life, but the life of their loved ones at home because they're out here taking care of you, you understand? And I think they deserve to get paid more, you understand? Like, why can't a nurse make why can't a nurse make $150, $200 an hour for, for you know, the work that they're actually putting in? Whereas you got a, a doctor that might come in the room one time, you know, 
check your vitals one time and then, you know, send you a bill for six grand and they didn't even do nothing. Whereas the nurse is in and out of that room making sure you good, doing this, that, and the third for you and she's making $45 an hour or something. You understand? And it's like, I don't know, man. This, this, this whole epidemic, pandemic, whatever the word is, it's just, it, it just leaves a lot for you to think about, man. You know? Whereas here in, in the county I live in, I live in Mecklenburg County, you know, Charlotte, North Carolina. They got this little mandate out now where everybody's supposed to be home except for, ex you know, essential employees. And I get it, man. You know, it's a lot of people out here that need paper. You know, you got hourly workers that work in the freaking bowling alley that, you know, they need to make money. But I just think it's funny a day like today where it, you know, it started officially and <laughs> it looks like a Saturday, man. It looks like a regular day. Literally everything is open. Car wash open. I'm parked in front of a bowling alley right now. Bowling alley is open. Well, at least the sign says open and there's cars there. And I'm like, yo, we're not supposed to be, uh, you know, 10 or more people together is supposed to be, you know, not happening right now. It's supposed to be social distancing and all that. Whereas everybody's here. I get it, yo. We all need food. So it's, you know, fast food restaurant or any restaurant out here. I guess you're essential to my life because I'm hungry and you're there to feed me. Grocery store workers, pharmacy, all that. But why the car wash open, my man? What's essential about a car wash? You know, I get it. None of us, you know, none of us want dirty rides. I get it. But <laughs> why the hell is the car wash open? You know, what's calling the car wash essential is basically comparing a car wash employee to a freaking nurse. And it's like, come on, man, y'all on two different planets. But it is what it is, man. But like I said, more than anything, man, I don't know, man. Life is short. And, you know, situations like this put it all into perspective. But I don't know, man. Certain professions out here that deserve a raise, man. For real, for real. And I get it, man. Like the title say, not your average trucker. I'm a trucker. And it's a lot of people that think us truckers don't do nothing but sit down all day and hold a stand. Well, they think we get paid too much. So, you know, tomato, tomato. But I don't know. More, I think teachers definitely teachers definitely need a raise man for real for real and somebody somebody for real needs to like slap that president man this dude donald trump is amazing i mean he literally gets on tv every day or on social media every day and lies like i don't get it and he has so many clueless followers that just hang on every word he said. It's literally people out here dying because he said the drug for lupus can cure the coronavirus. So you got people out here that actually have lupus that can't get their hands on their normal medication. And then you got people out here getting a prescription from their doctor for this medication thinking it'll cure the coronavirus. And people have died. And like nothing happens to this dude. This dude lies, says Johnson and Johnson has a cure for the freaking coronavirus, which is a lie. Nobody does nothing about it. This dude comes out, he says, We got the coronavirus situation under control. You know, at the time it was, you know, we said it was only gonna be 15 people infected and they was already cured. Here we are, several thousand, as of yesterday, like a thousand people. And freaking the United States have already died. Yet when it comes time to vote, these goofy clowns are still going to reelect this dude. How can your leader be a blade? I get it, man. Politicians tell lies. I get it. But not the kind of lies this dude's telling. The kind of lies he's telling is putting people's life at jeopardy. It's one thing to promise the world, yo, all black people going to get reparations. Y'all going to be good. It's not and not do it, deliver, but it's another thing to blatantly lie. Yo, man, this coronavirus gonna go away by itself in April. Oh, when it get warm outside, it'll go away. Oh, this, oh that. Like this dude is so goofy, man. 
And it's just like, it just makes you wonder what type of world that we live in, whereas there's people out here, rather than to vote for a female when it was Hillary running, or rather than vote for some black dude running or some Asian dude running, these dudes will blatantly, people will blatantly vote for an idiot, man. It's like no other word to describe Donald Trump. He's not very bright. And it's like we all thought George W. Bush was goofy and stupid. He looked like Einstein compared to this freaking uh, Donald Trump dude, man. And it's just like, I don't know, man. Sometimes I worry about the world we live in. You know, I got kids growing up. I got a, a grandson. And it's just like, I don't know, man. But like I say, man, it's another another day out here. You know, not doing too much today. I delivered a load down in South Carolina. Piedmont, South Carolina, a load of beverages down to Coca-Cola. Picked up a load of, I don't know what the hell that was. I picked up some kind of machine I had to bring back up to Archdale, North Carolina. And that's my day, man. It's it's like 11 a.m. right now. Started my day at six in the morning, so short, quick day for me. All my drivers is out still working, man. So, you know, the pandemic hasn't uh, slowed my company down none. Getting calls left and right asking for trucks, so. But y'all out there, be easy, man. I know this video don't have nothing to do with trucking, man. But sometimes, you know, you have a lot on your mind and you got to get it out somehow. You understand? Y'all be easy out there. Trucker Not Your Average Gmail. Trucker Not Your Average Instagram. Y'all stay safe, man. Wash your damn hands. Stay seven feet away from people. You know. And if you don't feel good, man, call your doctor, man. And, you know, pray for your loved ones, man, especially the elderly, man. You got grandma, your mother out here, your grandma, your great-grandma. Pray for them, man. But y'all be easy, yeah?